questions uh, only the last topic is left in this chapter and last topic is factors affecting evaporation what are the factors which affects evaporation evaporation we have done boil difference between boiling and evaporation also we have done now i am telling you what are the factors which affects evaporation so first factor in that i am taking is surface area how surface area i will tell you firstly the relation between surface area and evaporation more the surface area more will be evaporation how that means we can say surface area is directly proportional to evaporation how can we prove it here i have written it is easy to take sip of hot tea from a saucer rather than a cup garam chai aap pee rahe ho cup se peene mein aapko muh jalega aur usi ko aapne agar saucer mein dala hua hai to wo jaldi phatta ho jayega and easily you can take a sip from the saucer why is it so here cup is having less surface area less molecules are evaporating thus this tea will take long time to cool down but as you are pouring the tea in a saucer surface area is more more surface is there that's why more particles will escape out evaporate out and thus this tea will cool down faster and you can easily take a sip from it one more example i am giving after rinsing cloth if you keep it as such without spreading वैसे क्या वैसे आपने हैंग कर दिया उसको स्प्रेड नहीं किया इट विल टेक मच टाइम टू गेट ड्राई बट इफ यू आर स्प्रेडिंग दैट क्लोथ ऑन द स्ट्रिंग इट विल ड्राई क्विकली व्हाई अगेन द सेम रीजन स्टूडेंट्स मोर सरफेस एरिया इज देयर दैट्स व्हाई मोर मॉलिक्यूल्स ऑफ वाटर कैन इवैपोरेट एंड दस दिस क्लॉथ विल बिकम ड्राई सून so surface area is directly proportional to evaporation second i am taking second factor which affects evaporation is temperature temperature again it is directly proportional surface area this uh, evaporation is directly proportional to temperature also as you increase the temperature evaporation increases how because as you are increasing the temperature kinetic energy of the molecules increases they will start moving with more speed and thus they will escape out bahar chale jayenge evaporate ho jayenge movement badh jayega particles ka if you are increasing the temperature and they will escape out evaporate so more the temperature more will be the evaporation direct relation is there if you are keeping water at room temperature less evaporation but if you are heating water above room temperature molecules more molecules of water will evaporate because of more kinetic energy in water molecules more and more molecules will come on on the surface and they will evaporate next factor which affects evaporation is wind what is wind first i am telling you that wind is moving air moving air is called wind again this wind is directly proportional to evaporation more is the wind more molecules it will take with it for evaporation as you know that on windy day if wind is there cloth becomes dry quickly readily so evaporation is directly proportional to wind also last factor which affects evaporation is humidity humidity next factor is humidity firstly i am telling you that what is the meaning of humidity amount of moisture in the atmospheric air in the atmosphere whatever moisture is there that is called humidity how can we prove that humidity or the moisture content is there in the atmosphere you can prove it by taking ice cube in a steel container suppose a steel glass i am taking in that i am filling ice cubes 
you observe on the outer surface of the steel container moisture or the droplet of water can be seen that droplets from where the droplets coming kya pani andar se bahar aa jata hai nahi atmosphere mein jo water vapors hote hain they get condensed steel is good conductor of heat jo ice aapne liya hai ice se pura ka pura glass thanda ho jata hai aur thanda hone ke karan all the water vapors present in the atmosphere get condensed here so in this way we can say that humidity is amount of moisture in the atmosphere this humidity is inversely proportional to evaporation how inversely proportional what do you mean by that if humidity is more evaporation is less how can we say like this like if you have observed students cooler does not produce a cooling effect in rainy season or cooler is not effective in the coastal areas people living in bombay or kerala cannot able to use coolers they only use acs why cooler is not effective in producing cooling effect because in cooler as you know water evaporate and provides cooling effect but if we are taking rainy season in that atmospheric air is full of moisture moisture content is very high and that's why no water get evaporated and thus cooler does not produce cooling effect in case of rainy season you have observed that if uh, the wet clothes also do not get dry readily they take long time for getting up dry same no water evaporate since the same thing i am telling you if the atmosphere is full of humidity no water evaporate since already water vapors are present in the atmosphere one more example i am giving you students suppose you are sweating in rainy season that sweat do not get evaporated readily again the same thing is there no water evaporates since already water vapors are present in the atmosphere and you feel clumsy because sweat is present on your body it is not getting evaporated okay students so humidity is inversely proportional to evaporation one thing i am telling you other than that we have covered all the factors affecting evaporation it is one more topic i am taking related to this evaporation in summer it is advised to wear cotton clothes why because cotton is a good absorber it can absorb sweat from the body and evaporate it in the atmosphere thus you feel cool similarly it is advised to wear light colored clothes why because light colors reflect heat thus our body does not receive large amount of heat so in summer cotton light colored clothes should be preferred so in this way students we have covered this whole chapter and now homework is you do your ncert exercise in your copy and if you have any doubts you can ask me students any time go through the whole chapter and if any difficulty is there in any topic you can ask me okay students thank you